वेलकम टू थ्री टी मीडिया वंस यू लॉग इन इन टू द सिस्टम गो टू सेटअप एंड मेंटेनेंस select setup and maintenance here and uh, the first step what we have to do in accounts payable setup is we need to create the business unit so click on manage business unit click on create button give the business unit name here so just i am creating for sample i gave some business unit name here so the default set we have to select the common Let's click on search click on common set here select on it click save and close here once business unit is created the next step is we need to assign business unit functions so click on this option assign business unit business function and before that select the bu which we created in the previous screen click select and add here click apply and go to task search the business unit which we created in the earlier screen so this is the place where we will assign the primary ledger and the default legal entity also and here in the left hand side you can see the options which to be selected and should be available for the business unit which we created now for sample i am selecting few options here like uh, customer payments and collection management billing and revenue and uh, payable invoicing payable payment procurement and all in your case you can select the relevant of relevant functions which you required for your business unit so once we done with the business unit functions we need to select the ledger so this ledger already i created in the earlier so just select the ledger i am using us primary ledger which i created earlier and once you select the ledger system will put the default legal entity so this is the thing we have to do it in the asset assign business functions click save and close so the next step what we have to do is we need to assign this business unit to the login user so here you can see the option manage business unit data access for users click on it click create in the username select the login username here i am using this is so i am selecting my user here and in the role part select the accounts payable role here select vision new york so this is the bu i created so i am assigning one more role to this business unit for this user I am assigning accounts payable supervisor. Select the business unit. Select the business unit name here. So assign the username and the role and business unit level and what is the business unit name. So click save and close. So this this is done. So after this we need to create the procurement agent here. so we have to go for payable option payable and here you can see the option called manage procurement agents so select our bu here click select apply and go to task so i'm selecting the business unit name here click save and close so here click on the create button so this procurement agent we have to assign for every bu then only we can able to create the supplier or 
and other things. So I am assigning, I am selecting the BU which we created newly. And we, we need to select the agent here. This time searching some agent. Select the employee and click on OK. It will be selected here. And in below, you can see the options here manage negotiation, manage purchase order, and everything should be given with full access. Select full here. Then save and close. Once we are done with procurement agent, the next step what we have to do is we have to create the payment terms. For that we have to go manage payment terms. Already few payment terms will be available in the system. So now just I will show you how to create the payment terms. Click on create here. Give the payment term name here. Just give the same description here and from date we will be selecting from Jan first and in the installments give the due as 100 percentage and the days as 0. Since I am creating for immediate I am giving the days as 0. So in the bottom you can see the set assignments here I will assign this payment term to the common set so that all view can be used. I'm selecting common here. <coughs> okay, so once we're done with this, click save and close. So the next step what we have to do is we have to go for manage common options for payables and procurement. Click on it. So this is the place where we will assign the default account codes for our BU. Just I am assigning some sample account codes. In real scenario, we have to assign the relevant account code here. So just I am copying and pasting the same account code in all the mandatory fields. But in real time we need to assign the proper account codes here. So we have to fill all this account codes like liability, prepayment, conversion rate, variance gain and loss and discount taken. And in below if you see we have to assign this realized gain distribution and loss. So everywhere I am assigning the same account code but in real time we need to change this account code. It is not the same. For uh, just sample I am assigning this. So once we fill with this account codes, click save and close. So the next step what we have to do is we have to go to manage invoice options. So here I will select the BU. Click select and add. Apply. Select our BU here. Save and close. So here you can see some of the options are available. These options will be used when you are creating invoices or booking invoices in the accounts payable side. So here you can see the payment priority. By default it is 99. I am changing to 1 here. <coughs> or based on your uh, input you can change it here. And payment terms, pay date basis and account date basis, everything we need to select it here based on your requirement. So here I am just not filling anything. Based on our requirement, you can fill it. 
so in invoice currency i'm giving us usd and this one i'm giving here and just i'm selecting this allow adjustment to paid invoices and hold and matched invoices so these are the options we need to select it in the manage invoice options and all options are maybe changed based on your scenario so you have to select relevant options here based on your real time scenarios so just i am giving the default values here so once we done click save and close so apart from this the next step what we have to do is we have to go to manage payment options <coughs> So here also same thing. I'm just clicking. I'm assigning some values here, and you can see account for payment. Always it should be at payment and issue and clearing. So these are the options we have to set it for the manage payment options here. Click save and close. So these are all the setup steps we need to do for uh, creating accounts payable setup in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.